Manufacturing, Processing, and Product Life Cycle, Part 404. Manufacturing Phase. During the manufacturing phase, the product will be prepared for production by a manufacturing engineer. Preparing for production. Important decisions must be made during the planning phase, such as what the product will look like and how it will function. Manufacturing engineers specialize in the planning and coordination of every step of a production process. They may also plan the layout of factory production lines. <clears throat> Manufacturers use production flowcharts to visualize how and in what order every component of the product will be made and assembled. Additional factors that must be considered during the production planning phase are machine and tool requirements, availability of production materials, packaging, factory layout, quality control, and personnel requirements. Production. The factory is set up to produce the product. The workers have been trained and the production materials are in stock. The next step is to make a trial production run to observe how the entire process works. Once the trial production run has been completed and the necessary adjustments have been made, it's time for production to begin. When multiple components need to be pieced together, it is called assembly. Subassemblies are assemblies that will become part of a larger assembly. Marketing phase. Marketing is the process of preparing and performing the research, pricing, promotion, and distribution of ideas, goods, and services to generate sales. Marketing plans are composed of advertising methods, product distribution, market research, and sales reports. Every marketing plan looks slightly different, but most will have the following elements. An executive summary that briefly summarizes the company's marketing plan, a snapshot of the current state of the market, an overview of the good and bad aspects of the company and the marketplace, marketing objectives, what the company wants to accomplish over the course of the plan and how it will be done, a budget that allocates money to each marketing activity, and a method of monitoring the progress of the marketing plan. User phase. The user phase begins when the product is first introduced to customers. It is then promoted during the production growth period. After the product has been on the market for a while, it enters a maturity period where sales begin to level off. The product will eventually begin to experience a period of decline in sales towards the end of its life cycle. Product introduction phase. Sales may be slow until the customer learns about the benefits of the product. The primary goal of product introduction is to establish a market and to build demand for a product. Product growth period. This is defined by a rapid increase in sales as customers become aware of the product and its benefits. Building customer loyalty to the product is important during this period. Product maturity period. This is the most stable and most profitable. The goal of any company during this period is to extend the life cycle of the product. Product decline period. Every product will run its course and sales will begin to decline. The reasons for the decline could be that the market has been saturated with similar products, the product became technologically obsolete, or customer preferences have changed. A company may choose to discontinue the product when profits drop too low. Disposal phase. In the disposal phase, the product is thrown away or recycled. Designers must think about how to avoid the use of hazardous materials or design the product so that any hazardous materials can be removed and disposed of safely. Sustainable design, also called green or eco design, occurs when designers account for the ecological impacts of their design solution. Most American states have passed laws to reduce the amount of garbage sent to landfills. Plans typically include the following. Waste prevention means finding a way to reduce the size of a product, reduce the amount of material used in the product, or use materials that are more environmentally friendly. Recycling. Most cities have plans to recover materials from the waste stream for use in new products. And composting. Many towns and cities collect garden and lawn clippings and fall leaves so that they can be composted and re reused as fertilizer or mulch. Answer the following questions in your engineering notebook. Explain the difference between hot forming and cold forming. Give an example of plastic deformation. What is a feasibility study? Describe what happens during the marketing phase in your own words. And what is sustainable design?